Welcome everybody to the Gaines Christmas Game Shows. Now the first game is 20 questions and the teams have to guess the object from the categories animal, vegetable and mineral. We've got two teams, there's Vic and Billy and Sam and Jazz. And the first object goes to Vic and Billy. Yours is vegetable and mineral. Is it mistletoe? No. <laughs> it's not vegetable, vegetable and mineral. Well, it's got to be one or the other. Oh. Is it Brussels sprouts? It's no. Two, two, two right. things, don't I? Right. Um, no, I don't know. Is it a fruit? No. Is it a vegetable, it's a vegetable bumper? A, an edible vegetable? No. Is it a plum? A what? I don't know. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that one. Was it a plant? Was it, was it, was it a plant? Mm. Is that a good question? I thought it was. It? Yeah. A difficult to answer that one, yes or no. But I think in the way that you mean something that grows to you. No. It doesn't grow. Oh, it's not it's not a plant that's growing. Coal? Is, Is it coal? No. Is is the mineral metallic? Yes. For the metal. Is your vegetable mineral associated with Christmas? Yes. Right. Vegetable. Why are we getting all the really hard ones? Is it <laughs> She'll say yes or no and we'll lose the question. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, um, is it part of Christmas fantasy? Yes. Right. Make believe. Yeah. So the answer is Santa's sledge. Well, sledge would have done. <laughs> so <Right>. that's woo. <laughs> how is that? A how is that a vegetable? Well, it's it wood and metal. Tree. Wood and <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a vegetable. Um, is it that's actually a vegetable? Yes. Oh, oh. it's an well. actual bed. Like oh, that's going to be that's easy. The question, right? that's yeah, uh, that's the question. Yeah. No, but no sprout. question. I said, is it actually a vegetable? And she said, yes. So it's a vegetable. Is it a Brussels sprout? No. Oh. Okay, close up. Is it traditionally seen on a Christmas dinner plate? Um, it's a bit difficult. That is. Uh. Turkey and all the trimmings, would it be included? That's still the same question. Well, I would use it, but not necessarily. Okay. I, I, I can't answer that one properly. I think we should have that one back. <laughs> 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 uh, should we say the native to this country? It could be. Like, mm. Or should we say the underground? Yeah. Does it, does it grow underground? Yes. It's a root veg. Root veg. Root root. Okay. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, turnips, swedes. Is it orange? Yes. Sweet potato, sweet. Carrot. Carrot. Is it a carrot? Yes. Yes! Yes! Right, for you. Right, four legs? No. Excuse me, two legs. Yes. What? Oh, she's oh, like, I'm a human. You, 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 you threw it away. <laughs> God. You might be a bird. <laughs> yeah. Is it male? Yes. You still don't know if it's human. No, it is, because you get male like, animals. Yeah, male drake. It's a drake. No, it's, 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 it's a human. I think we can take that. It's a human. Right. It's a drake. Um, would, would you call these individuals celebrities? No. Why do we get the really hard ones? <laughs> I can't answer yes or no to that. Are, are they workers? Yes. They are officially <laughs> friends. 
Is it a chimney sweep? No. Good one. Mm. Is there work associated with animals? Yes. Do they ride animals? No. Not that... Uh, it's not part of the job, riding animals. Ride with animals? No. Oh. But they work with animals. We established that already. Oh. oh. Is it a shepherd? Yes. Woo! Celebration? Billy? Celebration I mean, Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. You, you, give me five. <laughs> give me five. Yes. Woo! Oh, work. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> or is it a play? <laughs> 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 no, not quite. Not <laughs> sort of right. Is it actually a mineral? <laughs> or is it? She hasn't said mineral, has she? Yes, yeah, yeah, she yeah, mineral. Oh, I wasn't even listening. Yeah. So it's a, yours is a mineral. Okay. Is it actually a mineral? Actually. On, is it on the periodic table? They're elements, no. they're not minerals. Oh. No. <laughs> she knows what I mean. Waste of a question. The answer is no. No. Right. It's, it's, not not actual, it's not like... It's not like a So what know. is a mineral then? So it could be like metal or... A it could rock. be a thing. It could be a thing. Right, so let's just go... Is it Christmas related? Yes. Okay, so it could be bauble. It could be... Could be Do you uh, use it to decorate? Yes. Another easy one, bits. Tinsel so easy. There's only so many decorating things. It's going to be a, a, a thing. If you use it to decorate, you wouldn't be like angel. Is it tinsel? No. Yeah. Should I ask of them? Yeah, do you decorate the tree with it? Yes. Is it a bauble? Yes. Granny! Woo! So we have an easy one! It's not, because it's a mineral! That's not a mineral, it's a bauble! No, I didn't think it was that Yeah, but we all... It's a vegetable. Do we eat it at Christmas? Yes. Ah. Is it a Brussels sprout? Yes! Right. Oh, you oh, you oh, you oh you my god, we've got such an easy one! Oh uh, yeah, we got it, one easy yeah. one, thanks to your three. <laughs> an animal is quite a large area, so... What, does it, is it an actual animal? Well, no, don't ask that's not a question, that's not a question. Ask about the legs, because <laughs> then we can figure out whether it's not... Does it have four legs? No. So it can be, oh, like, it can be an infinite. No. But why say no one? Because most animals have four legs. But you may as well say, is it a human? Is it a fish? Like, okay. If you say, is it a mammal? And she said no, then we've okay. got loads more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is it a human? Yeah. Okay, so it could be an insect, a fish, a reptile. Um, could be a human still, but I don't know. Does it live in the sea? No. Right, it's, it's like a microorganism or something. Is it Christmas related? Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, and it's, it hasn't got four legs. It's an animal. It's an animal. It's definitely not. Is it fantasy? No. It's not a unicorn. Did we ask if it's human? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not human. Is it an insect? No. It's Christmas insects, you ask. Associated with Christmas? Yes. Right. I think that's a good Is one. it holly? <laughs> no. 
that's not Do we food. eat it? Yes. Is it a vegetable? Well, <laughs> is it an actual no, vegetable? I know it's a vegetable. I've said it's a vegetable. Yeah. Like an actual no, vegetable. No, 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 no. Uh, no, you've got to take that away, Granny. An actual vegetable is a question. No, I, but she didn't answer it. I didn't do it. No. Um, is it part of Christmas dinner? Yes, can be. Would it? Would it be in the? Um, Main course, the roast part. Yes, it would be if it was in, if it was used. Yes. If it was used. Just oh. fruit. Yeah. Is it is it a fruit? <laughs> Does it grow on a tree or bush? You can't, you can't say all. No, 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 no. You can't say all. You can't say, it say, grow on a tree. You can't say all because it no. might be one. Choose or one. All right. <laughs> Does it grow on a bush? Does it grow on a bush? Yeah. Does it grow on a tree? <laughs> Does it grow on a tree? Good one, definitely. Yeah, it could be in the main course. Yeah, it's one of these exotic things. <laughs> so, you go and put that one up. Is it a pear? No. Oh. No, wait a minute. Yeah, exactly. She was hesitating whether it was a fruit or not. Now, if it's pear apple, they're definitely yeah. fruit. So it's got to be something on the borderline. That is a fruit. Yeah. Is it a form of nut? Yes. Well done. Well done. Now, yeah, which nut? What you so is it a chestnut? Yes! Oh, yes. I got that at question eight! <laughs> Damn it! So that was ten, wasn't it? Well, okay. Is it Christmas related? Yes. It must have been. We've done decoration. Is it a type of metal? No. Not. Okay. It's good for Uh, <laughs> decoration related? Yeah. Is it a decoration? Mm. No. Mm. Crap. Um, I don't care how this links to mineral. Mineral just confuses me. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, it's just a normal mineral. I, is it related to presents? No. Um, very indirect. Mm. Is it? Is it a chimney? Yes. Yes. yes! <laughs> oh, I think today's without any doubt it's Sam and Jazz. Yes! <laughs> what was that? Oh, my bracelet again. <laughs> well done, the winners. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Again. <laughs> Bowing. <laughs> Richard Whiteley. Uh, today's contestant, a bit exciting, we've got ourselves some teams. So, hello to Sam. Uh, she's 26 and she coins her own words, such as revelationary. It's a word. Next to Granny. I mean, oh. <laughs> uh, granny! <laughs> is the Scrabble champion with the high score of 269. And and on the next team, we have Bumper, whose name cannot be defined by any dictionary. 
And we also have young Billy. She doesn't study the words, nor the pictures. <laughs> okay, now to round one. It's the words. So, are you ready, Carol? I'm ready, Richard. Yes, here we go. Okay, so team one, it's your turn to uh, pick the numbers. I mean, the letters. So, uh, what would you like first? Uh, Granny, you go first. Vowel. Vowel. Please, Carol. Please, Carol. E. Oh, God, I don't need a glass. I've got to write it down. Oh, E. E. And next. Uh, can we have another vowel, please, Carol? U. And a consonant, please, Carol? W. Oh, God. Mm. How many? Another vowel, please, Carol. A. Are we right? Are we right? No. Consonant, don't we? Yeah, both of you are right. Consonant, please, Carol. Yeah, I think so. N. And, uh, and another one, please, Carol. R. How many more are we having? Three. How many got left, Carol? Three. Three. <coughs> well, we um, have another vowel. Yeah, another vowel. Two yeah. You again. Oh, God. Uh, and two, two more consonants, two more consonants please, Carol. Mm. You've got T and another N. Okay, so can we have 30 seconds on the clock? Yep, we can. <laughs> and teams, are you ready? And then I'll take it. How many letters did you make? Only four. Only I'm four. Afraid. Four. Mm, team two? Five. Five. Okay, we'll hear from team two first then. Team two, what was your word? A U-turn. Very nice, very nice. Can't be a word, there's a, there's a hyphen in it. Well, what did you get? get? We got four, four letters. Four letters. But what was it? True. 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 And okay. want. Okay, so it's round two of the words, and over to team two and to Carol. Thank you, Richard. Okay, team two, what letters would you like? <coughs> right, vowel. E. Uh, another vowel. I can see them. O. Uh, continent, please, Carol. Z. Oh. Nice. Another consonant, please, Carol. Why? Mm. Another consonant, please, Carol. Vector. A useful one. Uh, H. Mm. Uh, Bell. Bell. O oh, again. Three more. Another consonant. Billy. G. Two more. One consonant and one vowel. The consonant you have is N and the vowel is A. You have 30 seconds. Okay. Four letters and team two. We had four letters. Two four letters. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, team one, you can go first. Who do you want? Okay. Um, so our first word was yoga. Yoga. Okay, that's it. <laughs> and our word was hang. 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 Hang.
hang. Okay, both words. So uh, <laughs> you both get four points. Yay! Now we're going over to the maths round. So Carol, are you ready? Yes, Richard, I am ready. So time to pick the numbers. And we'll let team two pick the numbers this time. So you've got to pick five numbers. Anywhere on the board. Right. One. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Two more. Okay, let's see what we have here. So you have eighteen. Uh, eighteen. Two. Five. Seventeen. And fourteen. And the number you've got to get is six. Four. And your time starts now. Celebration there, saying you had it. So let's hear the uh, calculation. Well, I had 14 minus 2, which is 12, and then I had 12 minus 2, which is 6. That's you can't use the same number twice. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Uh, I thought you watched the countdown. <laughs> Should go with the game. <laughs> my fault. I got I got uh, seven. You got seven. Well done. Well done. Two plus uh, five. Yeah. And so you use all the numbers. No, you can use as many Aww. numbers as you want. <laughs> okay, team one. I know what you did. Uh, right, I got down to three. Uh, twice, two fives, ten. Uh, Eighteen minus ten is eight. Uh, and seventeen minus fourteen is three. So that's not well, really right. Close. Though. Sam, any any closer than seven? No. no. Okay, well, team two, victorious. You get ten points for that one. Yeah. Oh, well done, well done. That's well done. That's well done. Good game, good game. Right now, over to uh, Susie in Dictionary Corner now. Hi, yeah, uh, thanks, Richard. Yep, yeah, so here in Dictionary Corner, we've been looking up the uh, uh, origins of words. And I thought it'd be quite fitting, since we've dedicated uh, much time to these activities over this festive period, uh, I thought I'd look into the etymology of the word game. So, obviously, there are multiple meanings of the word game. We eat game, we are game, but I mean the sense that comes from the English. Gaiman, meaning fun, joy and amusement. Uh, there are questions as to where it comes from, as there are multiple uh, deducements. Uh, it could also come from Old Norse, Old Saxon or Old High German, gaman, which means sport, merriment, and regarded as identical to the Gothic gaman, which means participation or communion. It could also stem from the Proto-Germanic ga and man, ga being a collective prefix and man being a person, giving a sense of people together. So, nothing definitive then, but still, anyway, over to you, Richard. We're back on the words, team one. Constant, pick. Constant, please. Constant, please, Carol. Ah. Oh. Uh, um, a foul. Oh. Another vowel. I. Uh, a consonant. Two consonants. Yes. Yeah. Carol. A P and an S. Uh, vowel, please, Carol. O. Another one. Uh, but I have a consonant. Another one. consonant. How many have we got left, Carol? D. You have. Two. Another vowel and another consonant, please, Carol. So that's an A and an L. OK. Time starts now.
one. Uh, how mm -hmm. many was your most? Uh, six. Six. And team two? Uh, seven, sorry. Seven then. <laughs> oh dear. You've got, you've got the long ones there. Yeah, I don't know if there's... Such a word. Yeah. You can, uh, can't use it twice. Yeah. Right. Oh, Dis no. Um, no, we can't. Because I've got two. I'm saying seven. Dispool. D I S. Well, I didn't ask you, but okay, yeah. D I S P O O L. Dispool. Never heard of it. We'll have to check with Susie. The A twice, didn't I? Oh, Granny used the A twice. So it's actually a five letter word, and we've got drip. Drip. Okay. Right, we'll just have to go and check with Susie in Dictionary Corner whether dispool is actually a word. Okay, dispool. Let's see. I'm afraid it's not actually a word. <laughs> Okay, so as uh, dispool wasn't a word, uh, drip, surprisingly, gets five points. Uh, <laughs> <Woo! laughs> uh, and, now, and now we go on to the final round of words, where team two will be picking the letters. Okay, team two, pick your letters. Two vowels, please. So we've got an A and an E. Thank you, Carol. Uh, two consonants, please. An F and a T. F for Freddy. F for Freddy. Or Fox. Mm -hmm. like phonetic. A vowel and a consonant. You've got an E and an L. An, an L. Three. A vowel? Yep. I. Please. And two more consonants. Mm -hmm. You've got a V and an R. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock, please. So. So team two, I'll go to you first, and how many letters? Uh, six letters. Six letters. Team one? Seven. Seven. Okay, team one, let's hear the seven letter word. Atelier. How do you spell that? A-T-E-L-I-E-R. <laughs> and the definition of the word? <laughs> no idea, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> okay, we'll have to check with Susie on that one, Sounds a bit friend. Team two? What's the sixth letter? Lifter. Lifter. That is definitely a word. So uh, we'll just have to nip over to Dictionary Corner to see what Susie has to say. Okay, so Atelier from Team One, surprisingly, is a word. It is a workshop or studio, uh, especially of an artist or designer, and it's French. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that was seven points for Team One. Now we go on to our last numbers round. So, Carol, have you got those numbers ready? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Yes, I am ready. So, uh, picking the numbers, we have team one. And what would you like? Um, we'll go for that one. Yes. That one. Yes. That one. Yes. That one. Yes. That one. And that's it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> one, two, three, four. This one. Yes. Yeah, fine. Okay. Everyone ready to write the numbers down? We have 15. Three. Nine. Nine's upside down, friend. Six. And last but not least, eleven. And the number that you need to get is three hundred and twenty one. Good God. Time starts now.
Okay, team two, where did you get to? What was the closest you got to 321? 90. 90, okay. And team one? 219. Wonderful. Uh, how did you get there? That was uh, 11 15s, that's 165, and then 9 6, sixes, which is 54, adding them together is 219. Well done. You get 10 points for that one because you were the closest. <laughs> okay, so well done to team two for that. And now we move on to the special Christmas quick fire round, which has nothing to do with Christmas. Uh, it's acronyms, everyone. Acronyms. So I say an acronym, and you say what the letters stand for. Oh, okay. And each one gets you a point. Can you explain what an acronym is, please, Richard? It's uh, when letters stand for something, and they make a word sometimes. Like YMCA. Scuba. Yeah. Oh. So, are you ready? And it has to be the right words. Okay. When they come out. Okay. You got your buzzers? Can you test the buzzers? Okay. So. Okay, so the first word is L O L. Uh, team one. Oh, Correct. You can't hear mine, it's just so loud. And the next one is B Y O B. Be right back. Oh. The bring your own bottle. Correct. <laughs> the next wrong. one is F T W. Oh. Team one, two. For the win. Yes. Oh, I don't know that one. The next one is. NASA. And National, National Na Aerospace Agency. No. <laughs> no, I forgot we don't know that. Uh, oh, we have a second turn, do we? No, because we took it over from them. National Association. No. Uh, it's Na National <laughs> American Space Agency. No. <laughs> National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Oh. Oh. Okay, the next one. Scuba. Uh, something. You're rubbish. I didn't know. I just banged. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> right, don't buzz in unless you know the answer, people. It was self contained underwater breathing apparatus. Oh, I need the breathing apparatus. Oh, next one is NB. No, no, no. I'm supposed to ding your thing, so it goes to them. Granny, Granny, Granny! They ding first. Yeah, Correct! Not fair. Well, you've got to use your buzzers. Well, I thought we were. The next there. one is PS. Postscript. No, that was them. Postscript. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one, RSVP. Responding oh. to the play. Correct! Oh. <laughs> Damn! Well, what a great game, everyone. Well played, well played. And the winners of this time are... Granny and Sam with 26 points. Yay! 28 points. Yay! Woo! Oh, no, the conundrum. And now we're on to the final round that is the countdown conundrum. Contestants, are you ready? Yep. Yes. yes. Okay, today's countdown conundrum is... Oh my god. I'm not gonna hide it. And you've got to shout when you've got it. Bethlehem! Hooray! Yeah! And well done to team two there. Um, snatching the uh, victory mm -hmm. from team one with uh, 33 oh. points. <laughs> Team won 28, yes. so very close. Well played. Well played, everyone. And until next time, that was Countdown. <laughs>
don't mind the buttercup, I mark Lamar. Our two teams today, team captain on the team on my left is Billy. Woo! On her team today, we've got Granny. It has been known that Granny swallowed a pencil, so <laughs> <laughs> her efforts in the voice in the intro round may not be to everyone's taste. On our second team, the captain is Bumper. And on Bumper's team, we've got Jazz who is also going to be suffering bumpers singing today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now we're going to go to round one, which is two facts and one lie. So, we'll have three points about a musician or group, and you have to tell me which of those three points is a lie and which two are truth. So I'll start with Granny and Billy. Your fact today comes to us from Spice Girls. Facts and lies. Right. So, of the three of these, which is a lie? Melanie C was initially the only member of the band who was against the reunion in 2007. Jerry Halliwell is the only member of the Spice Girls not to have a UK number one single as a solo artist. And number three, again about Jerry Halliwell, her infamous Union Jack dress fetched uh, sorry, £36,000 in a charity auction. Would you like me to repeat what is it? Yes, please. Was it one true, two lies? It's one lie. One lie. One lie. Two facts. So, uh, Melanie C was the only member who was against the reunion in 2007. Yeah, I think that's true. Jerry Halliwell was the only member of the Spice Girls not to have a number one as a solo artist. And Jerry Halliwell's uh, Union Jack dress fetched £36,000 at a charity no, auction. It should, it should be. It should be. No, I think that it did fetch a lot. I don't think that. Do you think right. Jerry Halliwell actually had a hit? Mm. What do we go for? Do you want to go for that one? Yeah, risk it. Risk it. Prefer yeah. B or two. Number two. So you're saying that Jerry Halliwell is the only member of the Spice Girls not to have a UK number one single. You're saying that's a lie? That's, saying that's, that's a lie. True. That's a lie. You are correct. Right. It is in fact um, Victoria Beckham is the only member of the Spice Girls not to have a UK number one single. Uh, okay. Jasper Bumper, we go over to you for the second uh, Truths and Lies. We have two truths and one lie amongst this group of facts about Peter Gabriel. Okay. One of Peter's songs is a soundtrack to WWE, standing for Worldwide Wrestling Entertainment, WrestleMania 22. He can play piano, keyboard, percussion, flute, recorder, and harmonica. And third is Gabriel performed the Beatles let it be at the opening ceremony of the 2006 Winter Olympics in Italy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's yeah. You're saying Peter Gabriel did not perform the correct. Beatles Let It Be correct. at the Winter Olympics in Italy. You are correct! Oh. It was in fact, he did perform, but he, he did in fact for uh, John Lennon's Imagine. That's right. Very good, Bob. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I don't know. I get something right. Yeah. And, and, and I apparently get, you guessed it. Yeah, I guessed it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, now this is the round that Granny Moffat needs some preparation for. Oh. Uh, and we're moving on to round two, which is the intro round. So this is where we get to hear the tuneful voices of Bumper and Granny Game. So I'm going to give Bumper his two songs. Here we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walter, do not reveal the identity of right. these to Jazz. Right. And the aim of the game is to sing the intro, mm -hmm. no words, and Jazz has to guess what the yeah. song is, the artist and the song title, from your humming alone. Right, okay. Oh, oh. You, 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 don't, you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. You're not meant to know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I've got x ray eyes, you see. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look and see what they are. Right, okay, here we go. Right. Sounds familiar. 
Da 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 da. Oh. Da da. Um, da da. One Direction. Da, da. Which one is it? Is it? Wait. Da 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 da. Wait. Don't stop. Wait. Let me think. I've got one guess, Philip. I'm only going to have to pass it over. Which? <laughs> I'm thinking of the lyrics so I can come up with that, the name of the song so I'm, I'm scared I'm going to pick the wrong one. Granny, you're making me lose it every time you talk. We're on a timer here, Billy. We're going to have to pass it over if you don't make a commitment to a song by One Direction soon. Which one is it? Oh.